Is that music catchy or what? I love it. And it kind of even fits well uh, with Batman here, staring up at the symbol. This gift kind of bothers me that Batman is standing here staring at the bat symbol. Why is he not jumping down into Gotham City to go see what Commissioner Gordon or they want? Or worse, is he shining his own signal just so he can look at it and admire it? Batman, what is your deal, bro? Yeah, Pug, I streamed Overwatch a few days ago, so the channel hadn't updated to uh, New Vegas yet. That's all that is. But it should be updating to Fallout by now. Alright, I think that's about enough of the, of the Batman. So... Batman, you need to go away. It's Fallout time. So we didn't we didn't do too much last time. We made the character and we did a couple opening quests. So we're gonna pick up from there. Let me know, Pug, if everything is looking and sounding good. Find a block flower and a Xander root. Alright, this quest. This is one of the few quests I actually have done. I don't remember any of it. Why am I... Oh, right. Seems so good so far. Alright, I'll take it. Oh, right. Yeah, that's how you see yourself. I'd like to not see me, you. There we go. I forget if I can run. You legitimately can't remember. I must be able to run. So we're going we're going flower picking. Because why not? Seems like a good thing we should do. Botany is a um saw that right. Yeah, there it is again. Oh, hello kitty. What the hell? Is that a fox? It's a coyote. Okay. Don't get to jump on me. It'll be like Skyrim picking all the flowers. Bats! Save my life! Got him. Take those. Okay, I gotta look at my controls here. I can run, right? Run, not a... It's not. We're walking, boy. Wonderful. Why is the coyote not mutated? It's a very excellent question. I guess he's been very lucky, or he just got here. Oh, I see. Oh. Hello, coyotes. Not... Oh. Hi! He took me by surprise. Boom! And that's why you put points in the guns. I shot his paw off. See this? I shot his leg off. 
Oh, that poor coyote. Go search the leg and see if it got anything. Oh, wait. Yeah. I was crouched the whole time. I didn't even notice I was crouched. Look, it's not a Bethesda game if you don't try to jump up stuff you're not supposed to jump up. Kind of wonder if I can shoot that bird out of the sky. I see a bad guy. Rad Roach. It's like a little farm of Rad Roaches. Or Bloodfly. Yeah, Bloodfly. Got him! That was the lucky shot. I'll even admit that was the lucky shot. Oh, shit. If I don't aggro the other three? Oh, I have to. I have to fight them. Oh, wonderful. Bang, bang. Critical strike. Where are you going? Yeah, that's what I thought. Sneak level 99, I know. Oh, caution is this. Why caution? Other than the fact that I'm in a goddamn cemetery. Sorry, bro. Um... Because I seem to recall she said one of the flowers. Yeah. Open the grave? You just shovel the digging. What the hell? What kind of dark ass shit is this? Oh, okay. I figured this one out. This is where they buried me. And they drug me out because I wasn't dead. Nice touch, game. You know, the game could remind me where the shit is. Kind of wish I had a shovel now. I want to see what's in there. Boom, there's the rock flower. So now we just need the one over by the schoolyard. Which, if you'll remember, our little friend told us is now overrun with all sorts of monsters. Red Scorpion. A little closer. A little closer. Boom! A Bork Scorpion. It's a Bark Scorpion. I'm going to call it a Bork Scorpion. The school is going to be overrun with little monsters, you know, kind of like a real school. I saw movement. It's a workbench. And a reloading bench. What? Um, we haven't even got into that shit yet. I don't. 
Um, who am I robbing here? Oh, good screens general store. Okay. That makes sense. That's why the bench was there. Good job, stars. You did it. I know, right? Thank goodness I have my endless canteen with me. What the hell is that? Is there like a notes or a books or something? Yeah, I know how ammo works. I've played games before. I want to see what I, what the hell was that? Today's physician was that? Yeah, yeah, it's a repair kit. Cool. A giant mantis nymph. That doesn't sound wonderful. It's not just a mantis nymph; it's a giant mantis nymph. Two of them. All right, I'm like Eminem. I got one shot. Oh, one was all I needed. All I need is one. I can't move. Why can't I move? That was weird. How the hell is it dead? Did they kill each other? Did he kill him and then I killed the other one? I'm very confused. I am the confused right now. I guess we're going this way. So you get here and then it turns. You're going to make me go in here, aren't you? Is that going to happen? I feel like that's going to happen. Jalapenos, guys. Looks like spicy chili later. Yeah, I think it's inside. I seem to recall them saying something about going in the schoolhouse. Jesus. Today, class, we're going to be dissecting these things. You had a 95% chance to hit, and you missed at close range. Am I out of ammo on this gun? I am. That is wonderful. Um, what else we got? Alright, pistol. No ammo. Fuck my life. Okay. Um, do I have an ammo on this thing? I do. Boom! Oh, I must have hurt myself at close range. Fuck. Oh, that's like a grenade launcher. Okay, let's not use the grenade launcher at close range, maybe? Yeah, how slow. Yeah, I know. I'm not super happy about that. Oh, here we go.
Yeah. I don't seem to be uh, limping anymore. I'm going to take the legs because I don't know if they're for anything later. If nothing else, I can sell them and get some calves, maybe. What? Oh, 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 I was trying to put stuff in the mantis. Nothing I put in a mantis is going to stay there, I think. I feel like it would just run out. Drop X. Thank you. I'm going to check out that terminal in a second. shit that we can sell for caps. I'm all about it. All this useless crap. I wish I had a rocket launcher. Bobby pins. Those will come in handy. Some term of protected in case of the password. If your science skills high enough, you can have the terminal. Select encrypt password, we'll grant you access. We guess encrypt, blah, blah, blah. Four treasures. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm going to hit save. Feeling wealthy, hearing, fearing, crucial, readily. Well, readily. Three out of seven letters correct. No, this go four. Not that one. Hmm. Trading? Or so it already has three letters, so the right answer won't have more than that. Trading R A uh, I, yeah. Did it. Figured it out. So we told it to unlock the safe. Ooh, got plenty of stuff. I'll take all the stuffs, please.
Oh, you open that. Um, of course, Pug, anybody else watching, you realize the bigger concern now is that I never found the flower that I was supposed to find. No, I guess it's putting me back outside? So I just cleaned that up for nothing, I guess. Except for all the free shit we just got. This is a podcast in a safe at school. Yeah, it's for the teachers. It's a very stressful job. And they like to tie one on during recess. It's fine. I'm confused where this thing's supposed to be. Cause it's not in here. Like it's even, I don't know. I'm, I'm confused. Is it on the roof? Am I supposed to get on the roof somehow? Am I led to believe that there are flowers growing on the roof of the school? Walking on a fence. Walking on a fence. Double check that I'm tracking the right quest. Because that would be my luck that I'm not. Sander root. Yeah, it's here. <laughs> the plant is the class pet. Probably. Be very quiet. You're sneaky. Go sneak around and we find this fucking flower. was that? I just randomly got experience for standing here? I mean, okay. Thank you. I thought I was stuck. Guess that was nothing. I like that I take one sip every few hours. That's definitely how you stay hydrated. Oh boy. Let's broaden our search out past this little area. How about that? Coyote tobacco. Why are the coyotes smoking tobacco? Who taught them how to do this? Why did they teach them how to do this? Oh, hey, it's this guy. Hey, Victor. Howdy, partner. Howdy. All right, I don't really want to talk to you, though. Happy trails. Happy trails to you, sir. Pug, I don't think the, the plant was a class pet, because there was no class pet. 
wait a minute. Do you, do you think that's why all the, the mantises were in there? That was manti? I don't know what the plural is. Do, do you think that that's just... Was that the class? Were they teaching a class of mantids? Were they the class pet? Did they get, like, mutated and they killed everybody? What is the implication here, game? What are you saying? I keep waiting to step on a landmine. I keep waiting to not be paying attention, then all of a sudden I hear beep, 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 and then I'm dead. I want to live here. Can I, this is my home now. Can I live here? I can't even get inside. Like, I have sharp melee weapons. I could just break in. There's nothing really stopping me. Uh, I don't want to tussle with him. Also, mail theft is not a thing that exists, apparently. Oh, jeez. I don't know where this fucking thing is. The game hasn't been overly clear on this point. For goddamn sake, it's right there. You believe this shit? It's right here the whole time. <sighs> yep. That's not infuriating at all. That's fine. Go tell all your friends. Hey, I saw Star stream the other night. Oh yeah, how was it? Oh, it was great. What did he play? Oh, he played Fallout New Vegas. Oh yeah, yeah. He never played it before. It was great. What happened? He spent twenty minutes looking for a plant. A uh, plant? Yeah, and it was right in front of him. Um, something's feeding on geckos? Or are these the ones that I killed? Because I don't remember. I th oh, I killed these ones. Yeah, something's feasting on geckos. It was me. Plants are very sneaky, it's true. Damn sneaky plants. I think there's... The, the plant's sneak skill is 99. That's what I think. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. 
Give it a try. Okay, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy? She's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Fine. Nope. I walk when you can fast travel. Walking's for chumps. Without fast travel. Let's put the goddamn gun away. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. What the hell? What do you want? What the hell is... He's some trader who decided he'd rather shoot than pay the toll for being in our territory. He's hiding somewhere in town. Would serve these idiots right if me and my guys shot the place up after we got payback on Ringo. This area is your territory? It is now. Me and the rest of the guys busted out of the NCR prison east of here and took over. Now we're calling the shots. What were you in prison for? None of your damn business. You ought to know better than to ask a man that kind of question. <laughs> I just need to know if I should watch my step around you. Rob some people, burn some things, killed a few guys. Goodbye. Yeah. Oh, wait, hang on. Wait, wait, hang on. Save. I'm going to shoot him. I want to see what happens. Shit, shit. No, 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 no. No. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm leveled up. He's getting away. Uh, fine. Um, we will... Uh, speech. There we go. That looks good. One perk. Huh. Not a lot of choices at level two. Confirm bachelor. Yeah. Perfect. Done. Hello. I just want to see what's going to happen. Save. Yep. You know who else is sneaky? Me. <laughs> okay, they hate me now. Probably deserved it. Okay, no. 
That's not what I wanted. That's not what I really wanted to do. But yeah, I'm not gonna kill him. <laughs> I just wanted to know my consequences. Where is she? Where's Trudy? Trudy. No, don't play licensed music. We gotta get in trouble again. Um, I'm not supposed to be behind the bar. I think. Oh, she, did she go outside? Because he ran outside. When she did not run after him. Hello. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. <laughs> Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. It's odd that Cobb wasn't able to find Ringo. The town's not that big. Cobb hasn't exactly been looking for Ringo too hard. I think he's afraid that Ringo will ambush him, which is probably true. So where is Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. So what are you going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gangers? Chain gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. All right. So what happens if I help Ringo? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. So if I help Ringo, Good Spring will like me more. What if I help the powder gangers? Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. I'm trying to track down the people who attacked me. Know anything about that? Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident. And it hasn't been working since. Did my attackers say where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Why is that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive. Which it could be, for all I know. So where were they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Want me to take a look at your broken radio? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. Uh, Got a special discount for you after what you've done for us. I haven't really done that much. I should sell some things. Um, talk to you. Feeling thirsty? Mm. 
Um, Guns. Wait, am I buying this shit or am I? Excellent. Which one is? No, I'm over here. Another satisfied customer. Be uh, okay. Let's take a look at that radio. Should have put some points in a carrying more shit. Alright. That's my repair skill, though. Thirty. There we go. I did it. I fixed your radio. I'm the greatest. Where'd you go? Lady, the... I fixed your damn... Oh, my word. Where did she go? She was just here. Oh, okay, I see. So I could only make a gecko hide built. Do I wear it or do I sell it? It doesn't have a value. I'm... A gas bomb. What makes it a time bomb exactly? Man, you can craft some really interesting things. Yeah, okay, so I made a leather belt. Which I can't even wear? So what's the point of the damn thing? sure how that works. 
I don't want to goof it up. Which I probably would. Here's Settler. Oh, right, that's where Ringo is. So, so I'm going to head back to town. And I'm going to wait till morning. And talk to her about the radio. Then, we're going to take care of this Ringo thing. I miss my Megaton house from Fallout 3. It's 2 in the morning. Uh, let's wait 8 hours. Put the gun away. Morning. You look bored. I fixed your fucking radio. Be happy. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. Thank you. You're welcome. So can I get you anything? No, we've already Beat. covered all the stuff I want you to tell me. Howdy. Hi, Sonny. Oh, it's the bathroom. Uh, I'm not drinking the fucking toilet. <laughs> that was the ladies' room. Don't don't tell anybody I was in the ladies' room, please. And now he's gonna swear at me. That's close enough. Who are you? And what do you want with me? Not an enemy, if that's what you're asking. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? You know how to play? <laughs> do you know there's a man named Joe Cobb looking for you? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I can handle all of them in a gunfight. So what are you going to do about the Powder Gangers? I'm going to lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. I can help. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board. I'll ask around, see if I can round up. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. You are very quick to accept my help.
Huh. I just picked up a thing. I want to look at it. What are the goodies you got around here, huh? Oh, I thought it was forever. Definitely take that stim pack. I think I just robbed him. 20 caps? Yeah. That'll do. Out the sunny. No, 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 oh, I did not try to pick the lock. Nope, that didn't happen. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? I'm gonna help Ringo take on the powder gangers. I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. Well, that was easy. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo, but I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. How can I get Easy Pete's dynamite? Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you handed it over. Any ideas how to convince Trudy to join us? A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. And Chet? I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. Funny how all three of them require me to have some skill in the game. Not in Good Springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. <laughs> if you want to take a shot at it, take these. I already kind of did a magazine. Unlocks this? If the lock's too much for you to handle, reading through the magazine might give you the edge you need. Actually, you already cracked the safe. Oh. Well, go ahead and keep the stuff I gave you anyway. It'll be more useful to you than me. Then why did you have it? I'll be waiting. Okay, we we'll get Trudy last. Okay. So it seems like we have to talk to Trudy last. Because they don't have a plan. Doc Mitchell. Hey, buddy. Remember me? Saved my life. Asked me a whole bunch of questions that made no sense. What are you doing there, bud? 
welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Seems to be attacked by bandits. Anything you can do to help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. You take care now. There, we got the stim packs. I don't think he's got anything of interest. I think it was pretty good about taking stuff the first time. But stuff does respawn. So. Some sexy sleeper. Why? I'm not sure what's worse that he's got a sexy sleepwear or that I took it from him. Alright. I hadn't intended to look around, but I kind of got lost. So, yeah, where'd all my stuff go? I have no idea. Weird. It was just there one second, then it was gone. He's up at the gas station, which means we need uh, the dynamite. Oh, again, it was temporary. I gotta stop doing that. Let's see if we can talk our way into this. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I'm. Take it easy. You looking to buy some supplies? Show me what you have for sale. Hmm. These supplies to fight the Patagangers. Hmm. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. What? <laughs> Motherfucker. Look, you're bringing this on yourselves. There's no way I'm getting involved. But hey, I'm sure you can buy what you need. What makes the surplus ammo inferior? It's all about quantity over quality. Trouble is, you'll be cleaning and fixing your gun a lot more than usual when you use those kind of bullets. This again? Like I said, I'm against taking on the powder gangers. My supplies aren't cheap, you know. Right. Just uh. take thousand cap investment. Like yeah, I don't have a thousand caps. How many caps do I have? I'm just curious. Two hundred thirty six, yeah, I definitely don't have a thousand caps.
Hey there. So we got Doc. Didn't get the supplies we needed. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Yeah, you don't help us. Be careful out there. No. Okay, maybe. Looking to buy some supplies? If Ringo doesn't head out on his own, I think we should hand him over. The town shouldn't get itself mixed into the problem. Don't mistake that for coward talk, though. We're a town of survivors. We'll fight tooth and nail if pushed, but we don't go looking for trouble. This again? Look, can do. That's a lot of shit I have. I'm not sure what it is that she wants me to buy here. That Doc Mitchell sure knows his stuff, doesn't he? That Doc Mitchell sure knows his stuff, doesn't he? I presume so. Saved my life. But he saves my life is alright in my book. Everything I can touch is stealing. Yet somehow I'm not trespassing. <sighs> All right. I just kill you and take your sweet house. That Doc Mitchell sure knows his stuff, doesn't he? Hey. There, there you are. Uh, what do you know about Joe Cobb? Bad trouble. That's helpful. Welcome. I fear you got dynamite. It would help us beat the powder gangers. Too dangerous. Only kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Too dangerous. Sorry. Blow yourself up. Blow your neighbor up. Blow the whole town up. Told you before. Damn it. Howdy. I'll keep an eye out for the powder gangers and meet up with you and Ringo when the time comes. Until Yeah, until next time. Yeah. Feeling thirsty? 
Okay, so I guess they said to go talk to you. What's his nose? What's the ladies' room? Close the door. Try to get through. There we go. Um. Howdy. Howdy. There you are. Well, don't sit down now. We got work to do. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Sonny's with us. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. No, let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. How many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. Let's go. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Oh god. I can't resist a good headshot. Yeah, I'm infamous, baby. <laughs> oh no, I'm vilified by the powder gangers. Bunch of idiots with a stupid name. Idolized and vilified at the same time. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. You're welcome. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp. She said there were six. That was three. You are not good at math and counting and basic numbers. Hey, asshole. I'm going to take his armor, though. Well, this is more of a Souvenir more than anything. She said there were six. That was three. The other three must have shit their pants and run. Oh, I'm over covered. I gotta get rid of some shit. It's a heavy ass armor. Hi. How's it going? Alright, then. Stop. Music. I'm glad that business is over. I like it when Good Springs is nice and quiet. Beak.
Feeling thirsty? Got a special disc? There's a lot of ammo. Pleasure doing business with you. Be careful out there. Evening. Evening. Okay. So, I've been going for almost an hour and a half. That seems like a good long stream for today. I mean, I've done longer, and I'll do longer. But for today, this is where I'm going to wrap it up. Me and my, my big afro. Mohawk. It's a mohawk, not an afro. I miss it. Anyway. So, I'm going to end it here. And, uh, as always, I will say thank you. And I will see you guys again next time. Good night.